today is, is just one of the days that, that our swimmers are, are training. Um, they, they train, around some of the, our elite swimmers train around 20 hours a week. So tonight is a two hour training session for our 11 to, to 18 year olds as part of you know, their weekly training schedule. And, and tonight they'll be doing a range of swimming strokes in order to perfect their stroke before the, the, the up and coming competitions that we're going into over the next few weeks. Like a, a hard training schedule, waking up at 5 a.m. They must be quite a dedicated team. They are really dedicated. It's, it's one of the, the, the kind of sports where uh, you know it, it takes real dedication, both on part of the swimmers and of parents actually, getting up at five o'clock. And then the swimmers will swim for two hours, then have their normal school day. You know, the league swimmers, our national level swimmers, will then be coming back for sessions in the evening too. But that's the kind of level that we need to get to in order to compete at real national level and then be moving on to represent their, their country and hopefully one day, you know, towards Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games level. So what kind of events have we got planned for 2010? Is there lots of things going on for? Well, we, we've, we've got a packed schedule of, of swimming galas, which currently we're in our, our county championship phase. Um, but from then on we will go to our East of England, our regional championships where, where our swimmers will be moving on and taking them best from the East of England and then in August we then move to our national championships which is in Sheffield and, and there we'll be taking on the best in Britain um, and, and we, we take from a club of around 450 members we take around 15 and that's, you know, that's uh, by far the most of any club in Essex. So, you know, in terms of benchmarking against other clubs in Essex, you know, we are the best. We win the Essex Championships five out of the last six years. And so, you know, for, in, in terms of playing the for Ballot, the Ballot Swimming Club, you know, really does a good job, I think. So, have we got loads of stars swimming about behind us? We, we have. Um, tonight is, as I said, our, our, our elite program. So, in terms of stars for the future, that, you know, that, that you might want to look at one day at the Olympics, we've got a lower end of 11 and 12, we've got George Epstein, who goes to Gabriel Hall School, we've got James Day, Sonny Ford, Salon Moten, we go to William Edwards School in Perth, and then as we move through, um, in the Cassidy, who goes to the Congre, and then through to, to Molly Epsley, who, who goes to, to Barrett Tech. So there's a whole range of swimmers with a whole range of um, sort of expertise and really pushing towards you know, national championships and national medals. And is it because they're quite like, professional, they're going on to a professional career, but is this open to like, recreational swimmers as well? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we um, boast 450 members, which range from our Learn to Swim programme, from five-year-olds, right through to our Masters programme, which is 65-year-olds, um, and, and everything between that. And not just competitive swimming, but it's, it's about you know those who want to compete and they've got the ability to, we, we focus them into competitive swimming. But we recognise that not all swimmers want to do that. Some just want to come and swim and keep fit. And so we have a programme for them too. So you know what, what we try to achieve is really a process where swimmers can come and swim, have a great time, really enjoy what they do, and hopefully you know we'll, we'll, we'll retain an interest for swimming forever. And so, you know, in terms of keeping fit and, and a healthy life, you know, we think we can contribute to that from within the club. I think it's a really positive activity, and I guess you need like sponsorship to keep it going. So, what would you say to people who want to give their help? How would they go about it? Well, they, they can contact us at the club any Friday night. In terms of sponsorship, we, our only means of income is through subscription. Um, but you know, we're, we we have elite swimmers who. who we have a lot of training, we have professional coaches at all levels here. So in terms of sponsorship, we, we, we do compete at all levels, we do com compete nationally. We, we also compete, actually some of our swimmers, uh, seven last year, competed internationally. And, and so in terms of um, sort of exposure for someone, we can really give some high level exposure and really fly the flag for the companies based in public. So, you know, in terms of, you know, if, 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 if companies are looking for sponsorship, looking to do some good for some young people, then, then really we can really put your money to some good rules here. So I, I'd really encourage you to get in contact with the club any Friday night at that shows, and, and we'll, we'll discuss how best we can promote you know, your, the company that they want to promote, but in terms of what they're doing for us, they'll know that they've been really making a contribution to, to healthy lifestyles of young people.